Roadworks can be difficult and challenging environments. In the process of getting the job done, road safety can easily be overlooked. This film has been created to assist Department of Works engineers, contractors, supervision consultants and road workers to improve road safety at roadwork sites in Papua New Guinea. It presents three common roadwork scenarios in Papua New Guinea. Firstly showing some common safety issues at each, before demonstrating simple measures to deal with these and improve road safety for all. This film also offers information on traffic management plans. It explains how to correctly use multi-message signs and it offers instructions for traffic controllers at roadwork sites. Used in conjunction with the accompanying Safe Traffic Control at Roadworks manual and field guide, this film provides simple, positive ways to bring road safety to the fore at every roadwork site in Papua New Guinea. A Traffic Management Plan, or TMP, is a plan showing the traffic control devices proposed for use at a worksite, together with a list of the programming of the works. It is prepared by the contractor and is approved by the road authority before it can be implemented and before any works may begin. A TMP has four zones. One, an advanced warning zone. Two, a transition zone only used when traffic is to be directed from one lane to another. Three, the work zone, and four, a termination zone. The length of each zone depends on the speed of the traffic. Tables one, two, and three in the field guide give you the lengths for each zone. Full details about TMPs can be found in your manual and field guide. A valuable tool for making your road work safer is the multi-message sign. These lightweight frames have space for three signs in the front and three signs in the back. Signs are to be placed in correct parts of the frame. For example, a speed limit sign shall always be in the upper section and closest to the road. Every section of the frame is to be filled with a sign and the back of the frame can be used to inform drivers as they depart the worksite. Core flute signs are lightweight, flexible, waterproof and reflective. You will find them easy to change so that your message can accurately tell drivers what lies ahead. For example, when the work ends for the day, you are to remove the road worker sign and replace it with a more general sign. Your field guide offers further details about how to set up multi-message frames. There are many occasions when work is undertaken on the shoulder of or beside a road. Common road safety problems in these situations include no advance warning signs, old, dirty and non-reflective signs, no speed reduction, signs placed too close to the work zone. To improve road safety at these locations, you should ensure that the layout in figure one of your field guide is used. Only clean, reflective signs are used. A 40 km an hour speed zone is applied past the work zone. Signs are mirrored on both sides of the road. Signs informing drivers of a change back to normal traffic conditions are placed as they leave the work site. These simple improvements to your work site will reduce risks for your road workers as well as for road users.
Traffic controllers have an important role to play at Roadworks. As a traffic controller, you are to observe the following instructions for your own safety, as well as the safety of your fellow workers and road users. Always remember to wear your high visibility clothing, set up the prepare to stop sign and the symbolic traffic controller sign in the multi-message frame at the beginning of your shift and take them away at the end. Make sure your stop slow baton is clean and reflective and always use it in a positive way. Stand where you can see the end of the work zone nearest to you, as well as the traffic controller at the other end. Face the traffic, but stand just outside the vehicle path. Be able to see approaching vehicles at least 1.5 times the speed limit in meters away. For example, if the speed limit is 60 kilometers an hour, you should be able to see approaching vehicles at least 90 meters away, and they must be able to see you as well. Give clear and decisive signals. If you are working with another traffic controller, you will have the responsibility for changing traffic direction if you are the next to stop the traffic. To stop traffic, turn your baton to stop, face the traffic, and raise your hand into the stop position with the palm towards the traffic. Always have an escape path ready in case a vehicle heads towards you and appears not to be stopping. Once traffic is stopped, move a little if necessary so that you are clearly visible to other traffic as it arrives. Stay at the head of the traffic queue and stand by yourself. To allow traffic to proceed, wait until all traffic from the other end of the work has passed. Move to the side of the road and turn your baton to slow. Turn side onto the traffic and with your other hand, give a go indication. Full details for your work as a traffic controller can be found in your accompanying manual and field guide. Roadworks in Papua New Guinea often necessitate a reduction in road width that requires single lane operation and control by traffic controllers. Common problems in these situations include no advanced warning signs or dirty non-reflective signs, inadequate taper lengths, hazardous objects used for tapers, no safety buffer zone used, traffic controllers using various non-standard stop slow battens, traffic controllers failing to give clear directions to drivers. To improve road safety at these sites, you should ensure that the layout in figure four of your field guide is used. Plastic reflective bollards are used for the taper. The taper is very conspicuous and in accordance with the lengths given in table two in the field guide, A 20 metre long safety buffer zone is created on both ends of the work zone. Traffic controllers are issued with clean and reflective stop slow battens. Traffic controllers are trained to give positive traffic directions. The highways of Papua New Guinea feature worksites that include closely spaced and uncompleted work zones across the road, less than one kilometre apart, in a long road work site. Common problems observed in these situations include no advanced warning signs, warning signs placed too close to the first work zone and none at the subsequent work zones, inconsistent use of speed limits, speed limits 
that are unrealistically low. Signs not mirrored on both sides of the road. Inconsistent use of signs through the works, including some that are not relevant to the site. To improve safety through closely spaced uncompleted works in a long length of roadworks, you should ensure that the layout in figure nine of your field guide is used. 40 km an hour speed restriction signs are used throughout. Signs are mirrored on both sides of the road. Relevant regulatory and warning signs are used consistently through the worksite. With these simple improvements to road work sites in Papua New Guinea, all road workers and road users will benefit from improved road safety. The Safe Traffic Control at Roadworks Field Guide and Manual give you important guidance for safe roadworks in Papua New Guinea. Be sure to put these documents to use. In particular, have the field guide handy when you are on site. Apply these safety principles to your roadworks and you can save lives and reduce injuries on the roads and highways of Papua New Guinea.